All right, back for another non-alcoholic beer review, and the beer I'm reviewing today once again comes from the Athletic Brewing Company, and they're out of both Milford, Connecticut, and San Diego, California, and this is their Athletic Light. So on the can, they're calling this one a non-alcoholic brew, and this is essentially a non-alcoholic American light lager that comes in at less than 0.5% alcohol by volume, 20 IBUs at the time of review. This can is approximately four and a half months old. So it's been almost five months since I've reviewed a non-alcoholic beer on the channel. The last one I reviewed was back in early July and we're coming up on early December, so five months. And I was typically reviewing a non-alcoholic beer every I'd say three to four weeks. So we're gonna get back to that. And I wanna give a uh, big thanks and a shout out to a viewer of the channel, Derek, for uh, suggesting this beer. He actually said he enjoys the non-alcoholic beer reviews on my channel. And he was wondering if I could review this one. I said, if I could find a single, I would do so. And I did. So here we are. now. Like I said, this is basically a non-alcoholic um, American light lager. They do have uh, the ingredients like they do on most of their um, cans for their beers. It says ingredients, water, organic malt, organic rice, uh, organic wheat, hops, and yeast. And it's only 25 calories per 12 fluid ounces and five carbs for those folks who want to know about the macros. Anyway, let's uh, crack this one open, get it in the glass, see what we got going on today. So... When it comes to uh, non-alcoholic beer reviews, for me, I try to figure out if A, they did a good job kind of replicating the style they're going for, and B, if I actually enjoy it. That's that's kind of where it is uh, for me, and that's what I'm going to do with this one. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge American light lager uh, drinker or even an Amer American adjunct lager uh, drinker, but... Um, you know, I, I know how they should taste, and when I get a little dirty glass mafia on the hamburg glass there, so yeah, anyway... That does have a good clarity to it, right? But it's a little bit hazy in the glass. Like, you're not going to see it, but there's very fine particulates in there. Um, it's not going to come off uh, come off on the camera as well as it does in person, but very slightly hazy, has that straw golden color. Had about a finger of a uh, bright white, soap sudsy looking head that is now dissipated to a thin film. I would say, honestly, that uh, this 100% uh, looks like some kind of light, as some folks would say, fizzy yellow beer, and that's kind of what they're going for as far as I know. So let's get a nose. And that's what it kind of smells like, but I'll be honest with you. I'm getting a slight like lemon tinge that's almost reminding me of lemonade. Like, Almost a shandy, like a lemon shandy. That's that's kind of what I'm getting in the nose. There's a little bit of like a graininess. Like, yeah, like a generic malt sweetness, but there's this lemon, this kind of like lemon, sweeter lemon character. Like not lemon juice, but just like it. That's why I said lemonade. It kind of has a lemon um, character that's more sweet than anything. Really no hops to speak of. But yeah, it's grainy. It has a, a definite malt character to it. Really no hops to speak of in the nose and it has that lemon character. It smells actually quite refreshing. And again, for uh, somebody who's buying this because for whatever personal reason, let's say they want something to replicate. Maybe they used to be a huge Miller uh, light drinker or something uh, to, you know, akin to that. The, somebody buying this is going to want to want this beer to be close to what uh, they remember that beer being. And that's kind of what I'm hoping this beer is, just kind of American light lager that maybe you slightly tell it it's not alcoholic, but it gets the job done for what you're what you're looking for. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. And thanks again to Derek for the suggestion. When it comes to non-alcoholic beers, I would love some more, some, uh, some more uh, suggestions because um, there's a lot, and I just don't know which ones are supposed to be good and not, so I just kind of try all of them. Anyway, cheers. Right off the rip, I will say this. The body and mouthfeel are spectacular and pretty much 99.9% .9 accurate of what this beer should be. It's light but not watery, so it's like higher side of light body. It's really crisp. It's super clean, very effervescent on the palate. Yeah, it's like moderately to touch over moderate um, carbonation. But I think the body and mouthfeel are fantastic. The taste, there's not a lot going on. But let's be honest, when you're drinking a light lager that's, you know, typically around 4%, there isn't a lot going on. You'll get like a generic maltiness, maybe a touch of hops. But you're just looking for something that's very quaffable. You can buy a 6-pack, a 12-pack, a case, and you can crush it throughout the week. Some folks in a day, depending on uh, you know how you're feeling. But 
I, I think the first thing I realized with this is for me, there's like no astringent, crazy off flavor. I mean, I get some weird flavors in some non-alcoholic beers. I'm not getting in this one. Right from an omnipresent, there's this generic maltiness. And they have rice and wheat in this one. And it has almost like that weedy kind of just sensation. Like almost like if you've ever had like a wheat beer of any any sort. Or like I like to say like a Berliner Weiss where it's real light. And it's like a, that Berliner Weiss is essentially a sour wheat beer. You can taste like the wheat. Like it's definitely noticeable. And that's what I'm kind of getting this one. Is that correct for the style? No. But I don't know if anybody would specify wheat unless you're sitting down and reviewing it in a situation like this. That lemon hits about a third of the way, maybe halfway through the palate. It's not as sweet or as big as it was in the nose. It's just like a, a zesty, almost like like lemon rind type of um, like a, we'll say lemon zest more than anything. So it's not it's not that sweet. It finishes with a semi dry finish. There's no bitterness to speak of. Most light beers don't have a, a big pop of bitterness. I would say the one detriment to this for me, and I'm nitpicking, is that it. It needs maybe a little bit of bitterness or maybe like a full-on dryness because it does lean a little bit sweet. I don't know how many of these. I could probably take down three or four of these. But if I want to sit back in session, a six-pack might be a little bit tough for me personally. It's not sickly sweet or anything. And again, go back to a lot of light lagers, a lot of adjunct lagers. Folks don't like certain ones because of what? The sweetness. Sometimes it's too sweet for them. Uh, for me, I could probably drink three or four cans of this and not you know, question what's going on with my palate. Um, but at the end of the day, I think this is this well-made for what it is, but it's also not mind-blowing. I didn't expect it to be. It's, it's a non-alcoholic American light lager. That's, that's essentially what it is, and I think they did a pretty solid job with it. Plus 25 calories. Like if you want to uh, drink a six-pack of this, you're talking about 150 calories for that entire six-pack, and if it makes you feel like you're drinking a regular light beer, who am I to argue? Anyway, um, yeah, it's it's here's the thing. Stylistically, let's say you want to rate this stylistically, stylistically for a non-alcoholic American light lager. I'm going to give this like, shout out to my sump pump doing this work. I'm going to give this right here. I'll give this a, uh, we'll go straight four out of five. I think as far as like stylistically what it should be. That wheat might, you know, is a little bit out of place. Um, that lemon character, you probably don't get in a lot of them. But there, it's also very, like the body mafia are spectacular. And I think it's kind of what, you're looking for personal preference. Um, I'll give this like a I'll give this like a low three two five. I'll go three point two. Like that's the best I can do on something like this. Um, it's fine, and it would get the job done if I was looking for again a non alcoholic, a non alcoholic um, American light lager. I think I think it would be fine. But I think it's good. Put it this way, if you like your Miller lights and your Coors lights and your Jenny lights of the world and whatnot, and you want something that's not alcoholic, this would probably get the job done for you if you could get past that that lemon character, which is not uh, very noticeable in you know, a ton of light lockers. Uh, price point availability. Price point on this one, I paid $209 for that can. Six packs were $11.99 on their website. Same thing, $11.99 for six pack. If you subscribe and save, like the whole Amazon thing where you, you know have it delivered every once in a while, it's actually $10.19 a six pack, which is a much better deal. And availability, uh, I know you can buy it off of their website. I don't know how shipping works if this is since this is non-alcoholic and not technically alcohol. If they just ship to every single state in the US, then you can probably just go to the website and pick it up. But if you have a local beer store uh, that sells, or maybe even a grocery store that sells non-alcoholic, beer uh, you should be able to find this one i think that i don't know if this is a staple of their lineup but i would imagine it's probably pretty popular when it comes to the athletic lineup so anyway uh yeah if you've had this one before post in the comment section let me know what you think about this one i'll tell you right now i know uh, the interaction when it comes to these uh, non-alcoholic beer reviews are not anywhere near as, as good as the regular ones but i know there are other uh, non-alcoholic beer uh, enjoyers out there. So if you've had this or anything from the Athletic, or again, if you want to recommend something to me, please post in the comment section. Let me know. Uh, that's the reason I do these. And I like trying these out because I haven't had the vast majority of these non-alcoholic beers. So it's just one of those things where it's like, I like to try them, um, but I really don't have a lot of knowledge about what are typically the best, what are some of the worst. So I'm just kind of navigating through the muddy waters of the NA scene right now for myself personally. So anyway, thanks to Derek for the recommendation. Cheers, everybody, to the next one.